All right, day to day is very interesting as being a landlord. I actually got rode up from the city on this fence. I was blown away by it. Now the city didn't even give me a courtesy call and let me know, hey, your fence is tagged. Hey, can you get that fixed? Nope, nothing. Back to that valve, let's do this. Welcome back to the handy landlord. Should slide off up there. So I finally got one. I finally got a McDonald nut. If anything's done wrong, I just wanna let you know that my mom taught me how to do this. I just gotta line all this up and figure out where I need to cut it exactly and not cut it too short. I'm gonna use some grease in here. All right, this goes on first. So that goes on there, just like that. It's the stiffener. Slide the stiffener into the pipe. And I'm just going to mark, mark that back side right there so then I know how far it comes forward. Thin layer for extra protection. I'm gonna have to reuse these gaskets because the, which is really weird, the new uh, meter spuds did not come with gaskets, which is strange because they always do. Little things drive me crazy, like having the wire on this side of the pipe would drive me nuts. So, <laughs> I don't know why things like that bother me so much, but it just, it just would, it just, it would bother me. So. I do want to get some sort of support on there because I don't want this moving all around like that. All right, one more thing. You can see how far that, that pipe came forward or the, you know, it pressed in there and sealed everything up. But um, yeah, I don't know why. I just, it's a personal preference. I just like to mark it. I still need to hook up this ground wire too. All right, got the water on outside. Moment of truth. just a little bit but got all the pecs in all right so right up here I have a T okay and I want to transition right there or somewhere right around there to pecs here's my question so I have this fitting right here which is a pecs adapter sweat can I pro press this fitting I mean it seems like it fits in there there's a little bit of extra but can I can I pro press that in there and then transition I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I think I'm just gonna pro-press this in, see if it's gonna work. If I don't try it, it's gonna keep me up at night. Clamp on my pecs from there and run it. We'll find out if that's gonna work or not. I used some shark bites, but I found a new fitting at my supply house and it's pretty awesome. It's right here. I don't know if you see that, but it's a transition from half inch uh, copper to half inch this type of PEX that I use, just standard PEX that you buy at Home Depot. I'll put a link to those down in the description if I can find them on Amazon. I need to remove it. So I already installed a new toilet upstairs and I was debating on whether or not to replace this. Well, fortunately for me, now I have to take that toilet back out. I need to um, replace this with PVC because there's actually, right here, it's rotted out. Do my thing and uh, replace that plumbing. There's the old flange. They're always good to carry. They don't take up much room in the van. Come in extremely handy. You normally slip them underneath 
it'll grab onto the flange and you're good to go. All right, I went ahead and bent in some of this lead. Got this flange out of here, actually broke into several pieces. At Home Depot, they sell these brass flanges and if it's broken, you can actually bend this lead in. So it's very easy to, like, you have to do it. You know, it's very easy to bend, but you can actually bend that in and replace. You can actually replace this if you have a lead piece. So just keep that in mind. But yeah. All right, gotta go downstairs, cut that out. There should be a brass piece underneath of here. And I'm trying to leave that, so I just wanna cut just past that. Oh, look at that, I just punched a hole. Yeah, I just punched a hole right through there. Wow. Got a little, got a little scrap pile hidden back there. How I'm gonna transition it. And I have probably two different ways I could transition it. We could drill out around here and install this band. But there's nothing wrong with that. So what I will probably end up doing is coming on here with this uh, four to three no hub band right there. Right on there with that and then transition to PVC and go up. And right there on the floor, what I'll do is install. So I'll install a block of wood and drill down through before, before I install uh, the PVC. All right, so this is where I'm at right now. I have uh, my piece that goes in there, goes in there pretty far. It's probably about to right here where it starts to sweep. And then I have my no hub band on there. Actually, before I forget, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on there. Uh, and now I'm going to drill my hole. So I had to move the toilet over this way a little bit and it's actually more centered upstairs, but I had to move it over a little bit because uh, the lead they kind of had like snaked almost over to this one side so i had to move it over a little bit i'm not sure how it's going to affect my flange upstairs but i'm getting ready to drill a hole in here for the uh pvc to come down through this one is four and a quarter seems to be about right um give me a little extra play the uh bit looks in pretty good shape All right, so there we have that right there. And then that's gonna go just like that. Now, what I need to do to give this uh, proper support is I need to add another block of wood. Hey, think about this way. I'm going to go downstairs and drill up through. I just want to thank the younger version of myself for saving this uh, tiny piece of wood here. I'm not sure why I would, anybody would save something so small. I have one joint down there to glue. I always struggle with this uh, this glue joint because I'm only one person and I feel like whenever I start downstairs it doesn't work out very good for me. Whenever I glue downstairs because then whenever I push in this toilet flange it's like it pushes the pipe down. There it is. I'll run upstairs real quick. Double check, make sure that's all good. Alright, it looks pretty good. Alright, and then I'll just spin this flange to where I need it. Glue it in. Or screw it in, I mean. It looks 
looks good. All right, yes, getting there. All right, I have my toilet bolts on there and this flange secured. This should be good to set this toilet. I just went and picked up a wax ring. Let's carry and install the toilet.